Hi there, it's Debbie Anderson here today from Inner Liberation Healing, and I'm here to help you on your healing path. Today I'm going to share with you a section of a quantum healing hypnosis session in which my client has agreed to share with you. And in that uh, session, it's uh, called We Live in a Holographic Light Universe. So uh, there's several things that... Um, my client's higher self talks about with him and uh, again he it, it, it's touched upon that we are playing our parts in the game um, that we have lessons during our lifetimes that we are uh, experiencing and um, he mentions the conductors of consciousness again who oversee the processes that uh, we experience as humans um, and there are um, different uh, levels of soul families that we have in our lives. He talks about that. Um, it also has explained what Earth is exactly. That we, uh, he describes it as a plane of existence, and that it's both flat and spherical and he explains what he means um, by that in the uh, video so it's really quite um, an interesting video and uh, I hope you enjoy it I ask that if you could please subscribe to my channel and if you haven't already and if you could leave me a comment I would appreciate that so much and uh, thumbs up if it resonates with you that would be wonderful so until next time, take care, and I hope you enjoy the video. And is it the lesson that, like, or is it the experience or both that these children or anybody is experiencing, like the evil ones, for example, or the children who are suffering? Is it a lesson that you chose to learn? Is it such a thing as lessons that we have to learn here? That yes, they not not from the point of view of having to experience being abused by an evil person, but the fact that the lesson of that person who is being the perpetrator of those evil deeds, he has chosen to come to experience being an evil entity, a a a paedophile. Mm -hmm. So so the so the victims volunteer to be that victim because in a soul family, in a huge soul family, it will be decided, I will be the victim, you will be the perpetrator because you want to experience being an evil one. So therefore I will will come and be your victim, knowing with love that I'm doing this for you with love to give you that experience. So then when you come back to the in-between lives, yeah. We are, we, we, we both know our parts of what we played. And do we have the same, like, do we have a lot of the same people in our movies? Like, do we? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we have different levels of soul families. We have, we have people that we, that we, we come in to, like as brother, sister, mum, dad, wife, mm -hmm. husband, child, and then we have bigger soul families what it what interact like other maybe other families or other countries or we all have huge, huge soul families that integrate and this is part of the job of these husband conductors to see over all these processes and to make them happen. To make so them into to give the instructions how these things need to happen to give them the experiences they require. And these conductors are like close to source. They're higher than, like, yes. for example, well, the, the word, highest the, self. The, the word higher is not really the right word, but just more connected to source than even I am. Than even what? Sorry? Even, even, so conductors are very, very connected to source, okay. but still have an individualism. Then these higher selves sort of is the next, oh, 
can't use the word hierarchy because our little brains here are on uh, um he's asking if his granddad and his mum and dad are some of his team of guides yes they are very nice they came, they came to him the do they have day. any messages today for him they they gave him the message the other day uh they shared love yeah Beautiful. Very nice. We watched. We watched. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Um, he wants to know if he does. He still have attachments which are negative for him. I'm not yes. sure what that means. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yes, he does. And he has. He has attachments from various experiences in his life. He's managed to he's managed to see where the attachments attach to him, mm-hmm. but he's not been one hundred percent successful in getting the negativity off him. Is there possible that we can ask you uh, and the healing teams to come in today to remove these negative attachments for him? Not yet. He needs to do this himself. It's part of his journey. It's part of his discovery. It's part of something that he needs to learn how to do and then teach others. Does he know what to do yet? Does he know? Do you need, does he need guidance from yes, you? He knows. He, he knows. We give him guidance. We've shown him what to do. Okay. But these, lessons, these lessons he still needs to learn himself. Okay. Because he needs to grow. Okay, so there's nothing further today that you need to tell him about this? Just, just, just tell him the attachments, what he's got. Do not stop him doing what he needs to do. Okay. And he'll get further messages uh, when he's uh, doing his meditations and, and, and connecting with you? As, as, as he progresses himself spiritually and grows, as the vibration grows on the planet, he will then get to a place where the attachments will just fall off. They will okay. just not be able to be attached to him no more because he's, well, the, the want of a better word, his vibration will be just too quick for them to hold on and they will just go away. Lovely. That sounds good. Um, at the next question I think you might have answered, it's uh, if he has these attachments does he need to detach them from himself permanently and i think you we already talked about that okay um we already talked about becoming a full-time healer and no that's not the case uh and he wants to know if he's going to transition into a higher dimensional earth in his body that he's in now or will i need to pass over and reincarnate there no. as as i said earlier yeah the ones that are on earth now at the level of what alan and debbie and, and lots of other people are we are you are becoming this being as as you are so no you will not have to pass over and come back some will but not alan right that's very good to know <clears throat> do we have anything to do with this is there such a thing as these 1,044 that, that there's all this talk about? or it's, No. Okay. No, but... Lots of information out there, what's not true. You need to use your, your inner discernment to resonate. Sometimes this information is put out there for a reason. Sometimes it's put by good intentions, sometimes by right. bad intentions. But... This information's put out there to test you, for you to pass the test if it is real or not, and to discard it if it's not. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, sometimes you need to fall for these lies, then to realise later that you did. This will then and mm-hmm. does give you the power then to notice more deceptions as you go through your life. It gives you the clarity to see through it. Okay. 
Thank you. I have a question um, which I've wanted to know the answer. Okay, so are we in um, what you might describe as, uh, what's the word, like not a matrix, but a simulations? Would you describe it as that, what we're in? It's a simulation of light, but the entire universe is a light simulation. Doesn't mean it's not real. It right. doesn't mean it's like a hologram like you, like man will create. It's not that type of hologram. It's just a way of existence. Existing this entire universe is based on holographic light. That's how it works. That's how it that's how you perceive it. That's how it exists. There are many other universes where it's not based on light. It's, it's based on realities, what you cannot even put into words, but this particular one. So the answer is yes, it is a holographic light universe. And, and in this holographic light universe, are we in a, do we have, are we a flat earth? There's so much talk about spherical earth, flat earth. What, what, are, what are we? Yeah. Yes, what, what we are on Earth is because we create the perceptions ourselves, how we see things, people of certain level will see it one way, people of a certain level of consciousness will see it another. But the true reality is, is it's a flat universe, but it is flat in a way which is so hard to put into words. When you are in this flat universe, it seems like it's a planet there, a planet there, a space there. But when you look at it from a higher perspective, it's just one big sheet of reality. So there is a containment around Earth at the moment because of all the, because the level of evilness what's been let go here. So you can experience what we talked about before with the, the creation of this new type of being, there was a containment put around the earth. So some of these people talk of a of a dome. It's not actually a dome. It's more of a, a frequency barrier to stop any negativity spreading out into the other realms that exist beyond it. So from a sort of 4D perspective, 5D perspective, you could actually go out of earth beyond it and see this frequency dome and then you'd see beyond that dome it's just a flatness that goes on forever that is what is known as the plane of existence but it's like a flat plane so people who talk of flat earth that is they are it is right but then again people talking about around earth dome from a certain perspective that's right as well but it needs to be seen from a much higher dimensional viewpoint to see the true reality of what you exist in. The way I can explain it, imagine, imagine an ocean, a flat ocean, and there's a beach ball in the middle of it. And that beach ball is Earth. And it's the containment around it that stops it spreading into that ocean. So from a perspective, a certain way, that sphere-like uh, quarantine sort of energy would look like a round Earth. But in reality, it's just part of the sea, which is flat, but it's got a containment around it to stop it spreading and contaminating the sea and contaminating the plane of existence, if you want. That's the best way I can try and describe it to you. Okay. Wow, thanks.